What's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at a, a problem that I've seen a ton of people having with Star Wars Squadrons. Uh, basically it's just setting up a separate throttle and a joystick in, in Squadrons. Basically what's going on is whenever somebody goes into a game, either their throttle, just their throttle is working, or just their joystick is working. So we're going to go and look into some fixes for this. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get right on to that. All right, so our first fix is going to be going to Device Manager and making sure you have your HOTAS stick drivers updated. So we can come down here to Sound and Video Game Controllers right here. And then your, your HOTAS stick will pop up here. Mine's not showing up here because I have it set up a different way for it to work, but... Just make sure you have your drivers installed. Alright, I'm loading up squadrons for our next fix here. But uh, while we're waiting for this to load up, we're going to say uh, a great thanks to our sponsor. Uh, yeah. Me. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> cringe. Alright, for our next fix, we're going to go into our uh, control settings here. We're going to scroll all the way down. And we're going to make sure... Our flight stick devices are the right selections. So if you have like two different things, make sure it's picking up two different things in here. If it's not, our next fix will help you out. And also another thing, it could just be as simple as going in to your flight controls, go into your flight stick and just remapping everything because it's not going to automatically pick up all your mappings. Uh, there's a ton of joysticks out, like, I've got this old, like, 15-year-old joystick that, it works, you know? It's great. I, I, I wreck people in this game. We'll move on to our next fix here. This is where it gets a little, little more complicated. Alright, for our next fix, we're gonna go download VJoy and Joystick Gremlin. Basically, what these do, um, uh, they, they're like remappable universal drivers for your joystick. So, you're going to want to click right here and it's going to download your link. It's going to bring you here to SourceForge. And it's going to download down here in the bottom. Just give it a second. Alright, there it is. Save that and run it. Um, sometimes, whenever you go through the install, it'll get stuck on a screen with the green bar completely filled out. Don't worry about it. Just Open Task Manager, and you can Task Manager out of that, and it will install. All you have to do is come down here and search up VJoy, and then click Configure VJoy, and this this will show up. It'll ask you a bunch of stuff, uh, or not not a bunch of stuff, but uh, it'll ask you for administrative privileges because it's a driver and it needs that. But basically, you're you're gonna get this little box here whenever you download this. Now. Don't mess with this. Don't don't click anything. Just if it doesn't say enable VJoy in the bottom the bottom left of this little box here, make sure it's enabled. All right. And after that, you're gonna go to uh, Joystick Gremlin here. And both of these, if I haven't said it already, these are both gonna be in the description of the video. You're gonna download the zip file if you're on Windows. Yeah. So once this is downloaded, you're gonna get a zip file. And you know, if you've watched the tutorial before, you know how to extract a zip file. I'm not going to right-click on it and be like, extract all, you know. All right, once you do that, you find the folder that it extracted to. You're going to open this up and make sure you install VJoy first before this. This only works if you have VJoy installed. You're going to open this up right here. This little .exe. You go into the file, and you cannot drag this out of it. You're not going to have to open this up multiple times. You just got to open it once and set it up, and it should be great, perfect working. So I'm going to get this up here. Yours isn't going to have this one axe or one axis, two axis, all that, all the buttons and stuff on there. Basically, I'm going to tell you how to do this right now. I'll just, uh, let's see, new profile. You don't have to click new profile. I'm just doing this for your example here. So this is what it's going to look like whenever you start it up first. Or it should. And make sure if, it, if it's not uh, showing your joystick right here, just unplug it and then plug it back into your computer. And it should show up. 
Now, once it's showed up, you just have to go right here to Actions and click Create One-to-One -one Mapping. It's going to come up with all that access stuff. You're not going to have to go into any of this remap stuff or anything. It'll it'll just make it an input, and it'll make it to where whenever your computer picks it up. See, I'm moving the stick. I'm pressing buttons on it right now. So whenever you move your left axis, it's going to pick up like which which axis it's on. So if yours isn't doing that, I don't know what to tell you. You got a messed up stick or something, or just try and restart your PC if it's not doing it, and then try all this again. And uh, basically, once you've uh, clicked this one-to-one -one mapping for your joystick, if you have a throttle, like a separate throttle input, you're going to have to find it on this top bar right here as well. So I've got my keyboard here, but <laughs> it doesn't show anything. But basically, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to Actions, Create One-to-One -one Mapping, and make sure whenever you like move the throttle up or down, it'll... Uh, It'll pick up the inputs and like press buttons on your throttle. Make sure it picked everything up. All right. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to click activate here. You're going to have to do this once. All right. You're just going to have to do it once. And uh, you're also going to want to save the profile. And click save profile as. And then you type in the name of it. And it'll save it in the joystick gremlin profile folder by default. I'm not going to click this right now because I don't want to mess anything up that I've already done for my for my joystick. So I'm just going to close out of this. But, but you save that, you click that little activate button. The, the little controller button. Now we're booting squadrons right back up. And um, basically all you have to do now, um, you're, you're going to go back into your bindings. You're going to have to set everything that you want up. It's really all preference. So, just, uh, I'll, I'll give you a couple recommendations here in a minute. Alright, now we're back into squadrons. What we're going to do here, we're going to click on this multiplayer and training tab. We're going to go into practice. Going into practice allows you to just really screw around, do whatever you want, and uh, test out your controls. And that's what we want. Alright, so I'd recommend first... Uh, just going straight in and seeing if any of your buttons will work. All right, now we're in. So I'm using the joystick right now. It's working great. And the throttle is all working. Basically, just figure out uh, what binds aren't working. And then you're going to go in to your options, click controls, click rem remap controls. And you're going to go to flight. And then you're going to go to flight stick. So, these right here are going to be your axes, or axes, whatever the frick it is. I, I suck at English. Uh, your pitch up is going to be down or, down or up. That's really preference on the stick. So, you're forward and backwards. And that's going to bring your nose down or up, whichever way you want it to go. And then your yaw and uh, your yaw right and yaw left, that's going to be the left and right twist on your joystick. Like the freaking bop it, twist it, you know what I mean? Uh, and then um, your roll right and your roll left, you're going to have that as the left and right on your joystick so that's that's how you want to have it your throttle increase obviously forward on the throttle and then backwards on the throttle and uh yeah the rest of this is just preference yep so that uh that should about be it for the video leave some uh questions in the comments if you have anything and uh also, just ask people for advice depending on what joysticks you have. Leave a comment with what joystick you have. Just see if you can help each other out if you guys found something that worked well or didn't work. Just uh, make it a thread, you know? And uh, this this will be the ending of the video. We'll see you guys later. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, just uh, drop a sub, drop a like, you know, the usual on YouTube. 
But uh, also, I'll leave a link in the description to my Twitch channel. You can also find this in my uh, in the little box up above my YouTube channel. Whenever you like, click on the bottom of my YouTube channel thing. You know what I mean? It'll uh, it'll say like watch my streams every day. You can just click on the Twitch there. It'll bring you straight to this website, twitch.tv forward slash atmosops. Uh, we're I'm streaming squadrons a ton in the mornings, sometimes in the afternoons, but um. I do other games too, like Among Us, you know, the good stuff. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.